Welcome everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through building your very own object detection classifier using TensorFlow 2.0. I'll be walking you through the process and code from start to finish, showing you the commands necessary so that by the end of the video, you will have an object detector that will be able to detect classes of your choosing within images and videos in real time. This tutorial is meant for people with either a Windows or Linux machine. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and smash that like button down below. I promise it will bless your object detector with good luck and make it work even better. Well, not really, but please do it. Let's get going. Alrighty, so first things first, we got to get the code. So you're going to head over to my repository, the AI guys code, and it's YOLO v3. I'll leave the link to the code down in the description below so you can get access to it easily. And a quick disclaimer before we get into the video, I forked this code from Heartkilla, who had an imp implementation for TensorFlow 1, and then I adapted his code for TensorFlow 2 and added some stuff for custom trained weights, uh, showing how to use custom trained weights. So yeah, so this is a YOLO version 3 object detection with TensorFlow 2.0. If you don't know, YOLO v3 is one of the fastest object detection frameworks. Uh, it's in real time, pretty much. And if you want to learn more about that, you can go here and go to my YouTube video showing how to actually train a custom YOLO version 3 um, model, as well as how to install YOLO and stuff like that. And so, yeah, this is going to be how to build the object detection with TensorFlow 2.0. So let's get into it. First things first, we're gonna wanna go over and first click on this so that we can actually clone it. So we've copied it, open up a command shell and just go git clone and we'll paste that in there. So once you get the code, you're just gonna want to CD into the repo. And I recommend doing code dot to open up a VS code if you have it or any other code editor just to look at the code. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that opens up VS code. And so we have a couple different scripts and a couple different folders. So first detect.py is what actually runs the detection and you can do detections with images or video. It works with both. And then you can also have your YOLO version 3, which is the actual building of the model itself. And then load weights. So load weights is the big one. It will take your YOLO v3 weights format and convert it to TensorFlow model dot checkpoint files. So that's really the big file and that's where we're gonna start. So we'll just head back to our repo and follow the steps. So first is to install the requirements. So you're just gonna go in your command prompt and do pip install dash r requirements dot txt. And this is gonna go ahead and download all of the dependencies that you need. I already have them all. So you can see that that's already satisfied, but that'll go ahead, pip install dash r requirements will get you all the dependencies you need to get your TensorFlow environment set up. So if you're on Linux, you're gonna go ahead and download the pre-trained weights. We're using the weights for the Coco data set. If you don't know the Coco data set, it is a data set that is pre-trained for over 80 classes of images. So you can go ahead and Google um, Coco classes, data set classes, and it'll show you the list of 80 um, classes that are pre-trained and the detector will work on straight out of the box. So that's pretty sweet. We're gonna take advantage of this, but it's got loads and loads of classes and a variety of things like skateboard, different fruits, animals, people, cars, like it goes on and on. So if you're on Linux, you're gonna run this command, wget, but I'm on Windows. So you can actually just go ahead and click here. It's gonna go ahead and get the YOLO v3 weights. Um, so we're gonna wait for that to download and then we're going to move it into our weights folder. So it's a large file, so I didn't wanna put it in the folder itself. So I've just showed you guys how to download it, but you're gonna put it in here. And if you're using a custom 
I show you right now, if you're using a custom classifier, so if you check out my previous video here, how to train a custom object detector for YOLO and get, get the weights, you would put those weights into the weights folder and you would have to change a couple files um, like you, your coco.name so that you know the classes you're pointing at as well as the weights themselves. So the couple changes for you to allow you to do your custom trained weights, but if, so if you want something in specific that's not already in the Coco, uh, you go ahead and watch this video, generate the weights file, and come back and now and stand up your TensorFlow uh, object detector. So it looks like our weights is downloaded. So we're gonna open up our YOLO v3 where we download uh, cloned it to. So in, I did it in my C drive, my repos, and this is the one we did. And you're gonna go to the weights file weights folder and you're just going to drag in your uh, YOLO v3.weights into here. That's perfect. Uh, so it'll be in your downloads so you can just open up and go to your downloads and then um, copy it in as well. So we've gone ahead and we've got our weights so now we can actually load the weights. So you're going to open up your command prompt again and it's a super simple command. This will generate the TensorFlow checkpoint files for the detector. It's just python load weights.py, and you're just going to go ahead and run the command. It doesn't take any parameters. Um, it works just like that. Um, and then, so if you were to change it, you would go down here. If you were custom detector, I mean, you would go down here to your weights, YOLO v3 dot weights, and just change that to whatever your custom weights file is called. So it's really easy to set it up for a custom detector as well. Um, but out of the box, we're going to use the YOLO v3 Coco pre-trained one. So that's, wor that's worked. You'll see model has been saved successfully. And if you go back to your weights folder now, before it only had YOLO v3 weights, And now you can see that we have TensorFlow model.checkpoint files. So that shows that our model has been successfully built, and we now have the TensorFlow model files needed to do our detector. So it's that easy, and now we can head back to the repo and see that we can right away go into detections. So detect.py is the script that does the detections for us, and it takes in a, four parameters. It takes in images or video. You just have to say images if you're doing images and video if you're doing a video. It takes in the IOU threshold. So this will be the threshold to be how close two objects are together if you want to merge them into one. So let's say you had multiple elephants in one picture. By setting that to a different value, it just states 0 0.5 is what I recommend if you're not trying to mess with that. Um, but if you ch change it lower or higher, you'll see that it'll impact whether it groups the, the elephant detections together or if it does just um, individual elephants. So that's cool, you can play around with that. The third parameter is the confidence threshold. So setting it to 0 0.5 means that for any of detections under 50% 50, 50 confidence, it will not show the detections. So you can see that these ones are all high, but it say dog was 43% um, confident, it would not show that. So you can alter this. One would meaning it has to be 100% um, confident and zero means that it would show all the detections. So you can play around with that value as well. And then finally, um, your last parameter is just the image uh, file paths that where your images are from the root directory of this YOLO v3. So you can see that you can just put, mul you can put multiple images if you want and it'll run multiple detections. So let's try that out. I'm going to do python detect dot pi and I will do images 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then it, there's these two images that are pre um, downloaded inside for you guys. So it's data images dog.jpg. And we're just going to go ahead and run this. So right now it's running it through the TensorFlow model um, and it's doing the detection using TensorFlow. This is great for if you want to package this up in a Docker container and deploy it to production with Kubernetes. And I'm actually going to ha working on a video right now to show that, how you can package this TensorFlow model up into the cloud and actually deploy it 
um, and hit endpoints that will run these detections for you. So all your images will save um, if you go to your files and you go to your v3 in the detections folder. So if you run multiple files, they'll all save here. We open it up. Let me just drag it into the screen so you can see it. So you can see that it successfully got truck, bicycle, and dog, all with extremely high accuracy. Um, and if we go ahead and actually run that second image, so I said it came with two images. It also came with office.jpg. Um, so this time I'm gonna run the same command, but I'm actually going to do both images to show you that it indeed works with both office.jpg, run it, and it'll save all of these to the detections folder for you. But like I said, I'm gonna have a video coming soon to show you guys how to actually get this working um, in a Docker file, uh, Dockerize this, and be able to deploy it with Kubernetes. So you can see the detections are lower, and if we had set the threshold to 0 0.6 for confidence, this would actually not be detected, so you can see how you can play around with that. Um, so we go back to the detections folder and we now have both. We have the same one we had before, dog, and now we have detection two, which shows an office space with chair detected, TV monitor, persons. Um, so you can see these are a couple, these are would be three of the classes within the Coco pre-trained data set, but there is a bunch of more. There is 77 more, I guess. There's 80 classes. So you can play around and look up that and put a bunch of images. So. It's really that simple, and now I'll get into an example of showing you guys a video. So we can do the exact same detect.py command, but this time with a video file, and it'll load the video into our TensorFlow model and run the detections on. So it's going to be the exact same command, python detect.py, but this time we have the first parameter set to video then 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 for the thresholds. And then now we point to data, um, video, and I have made a video called object.mp4, and let's run that. So this should run the detections on our video and then save our video in the detections folder that we saw the two images get saved in. So hopefully this works, we'll see. It's, so it's doing the video right now. Um, it's fairly slow on the video when it's doing the detections because I don't have the strongest um, GPU or computer itself. But then you'll see that when we run it back, it'll actually be in real time, the detections, and it'll be full speed. So hopefully this works. I'm gonna let this finish and then I'll show you guys the detections. So the video, the video is done. Detecting, it's been saved successfully. A couple warnings, but don't worry about those. And then it saves to the same folder, YOLO v3 detections, and it saves as detections.mp4. So we'll open that up and I'll drag it in. And I'll just rewind it for you guys. Ooh. Ooh. So if I rewind it, this is just me walking around thought my sock was a surfboard. <laughs> it sees the remote, the TV remote, grabs the fork, struggling on the fork a bit, sees the bowl, can do plates, all types of cutlery, and my bag, this is my backpack, but it's not like, it can't really detect the backpack because it's upside down, and then it detects me as well. So yeah, you can see how it works well with videos as well, and it can still recognize those 80 classes. So I urge you to maybe that was shot with my, my, my phone, so just take a video and upload it uh, to detect.py and see if it works. So yeah, that works with the video, that's the example. And then on my to-do list right now is to finish full migration, so it is compatible with ter uh, TensorFlow 2.0, but there's a couple tf.compat.v1s that still default to the old functionality for certain like savers and uh, signing variables. Um, so I'm still working through those. I'm gonna update so it's fully migrated to TF 2.0. I'm also working on building the model training so that you don't have to train in the YOLO v3 architecture. You can actually just train straight from this TensorFlow architecture, as well as my last but not least, tiny YOLO configuration. 
Um, right now, you can't load the weights for Tiny YOLO. Uh, so I'm working on that as well. So make sure to check out, um, keep checking this repo for updates. And I'll make a new video um, detailing how to use Tiny and stuff like that when it's fully uploaded. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on getting a object classifier up and running built with TensorFlow 2.0. Um, please drop a like on the video and show some support if you enjoyed this. It took me a little while to create. And also subscribe to the channel and make sure you can come back and get notified when the new video with the final modifications gets uploaded. You won't want to miss it. So thanks so much for listening, guys, and watching. See ya.